Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, Detective? Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met my wife, Juliana, already. I'm not sure what else to say, really. Oh, was there something else, Detective? Tell me about your research. Well, I was one of the leads on the team that created the first Robo-Brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I, I'd rather not bore you. Oh, was there something else, Detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. Functionally, this model is more or less the same as the previous versions I worked on, I've, but without the neural inhibitor and the reconditioning. The voice modulator uh, seems to have some minor issues interfacing with the neural matrix, uh, which can add some moodiness. Uh, but that's easily solved with regular tune-ups. Uh, was there something else, Detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. I'm afraid that's really all I should say about it. I mean, it is still classified, but I wanted to help with the investigation. Oh, was there something else, Detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Just let me have a look at the neural... Hello, Detective. Did you have a question sure about the heinous murder? Any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. No. No, it's not that. I've just caught another cold. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, Here. God. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even... know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not... All systems nominal. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, so he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh, God, Juliana. Have fun, oh, dear. I'm going to the lab. Hello, detective. It Over 200 years of life and then...
Maybe we could clean up around Diamond City? Not sure what the point of building this was. Got beaches all over the island. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. And what about this one? And please be honest, for art without honesty is just politics. It's cute, I guess. Some people like that kind of thing. More than you would imagine. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest work. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this joie de vivre within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Not that brute actor. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. 
My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Never mind. I hope I do not malfunction at a critical moment. That could come in handy. <clears throat> Hi, please lead on. I just want to trade a few things. Checking inventory. Adjust me to your liking. Stay sane living in a place like this. All systems nominal.
hope that is something for me. Welcome to the Vault 118 gift shop. Looking for a gift to bring back to that special someone? Hello, detective. Did you need something? Forgot a personal item at home. Did you have any thoughts on the case? I'm afraid not, detective. We're really at a loss, which is why I was sent to find you. Need to restock on hunting or fishing supplies? Let's see what you have. Let me know if you find something you like. Protect and serve. Maybe Maxwell has the key. Protect and serve.
Hello again. Did you need something? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't think, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, a detective? Robo brains have a voice modulator. Tell me about that. That's what allows us to recreate our original voices. They can mimic any normal human voice, actually. I've speculated for some time that the issues we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Uh, maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there something else, detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Hey. Go on. on. <clears throat> Hi. Please lead on. I just want to trade a few things. Checking inventory. Adjust me to your liking. Hello again. Did you Let me something? lighten your load. I hope my circuits hold up today. You are authorized to access my supplies. Go ahead. better than that you think i'm stupid i saw the way he looked at you you're gonna tell me that's nothing it wasn't like that we were friends he helped me out of a tight spot or two is all i couldn't stand by like some pasty-faced percy while he put the moves on my best girl all but now the law nominal. is in our tail what are we going to do come away with me let's leave this dark hole of a city behind we can be in buenos aires by tomorrow oh i want to believe you i do but They'll never let us go. Then we'll make our stand here. I... I've got a gun for each of us. No, 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 no! The line is... Then we'll make our stand here. Two lovers together Maybe we could clean up around Diamond them. City? Oh, God. Why can't I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this right now. Ugh, fine. I'm going to the beach. Well, now, if it isn't the brave detective, I haven't seen someone with a body like that in far, far too long. You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. I must say... You're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. I must say, I've known flesh-and-blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mmm, sounds good, detective.
heard about the experiments. That was great, Detective, but we probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, Tiger. Hey there, Tiger. Here for more stories about my acting career or something else? I had some questions to ask. Sure, darling. What did you need? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question, it was fever pitch, detective. She had apparently gone to the overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Well, it is a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the murder. I mean, he's always been a bit obsessive, though. He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds, said I was his muse. It was flattering for a while, but the man is a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. A girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? Never mind. I'll be around, languishing from your inattention. I hope I do not malfunction at a critical moment. Hello, Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Tell me about yourself. Well, as you probably know, I'm an actor. I don't like to brag about it, but my last picture, The Fighting Furies, did top the box office. Never mind. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Is this... blood? Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, Detective. Well, not exactly anywhere. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? The door to the overseer's office is locked. Oh, yes. Mr. Parker locked it a while back, after finding out that one of the other residents had been inside. Said it wasn't safe. If the key isn't on him, it's probably in Mr. Parker's room. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me.
All systems nominal. Collecting antiques, are you? Bingo. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. 
However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pane in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible thing. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Tell me about yourself. I'm Ju- Sure. Tell me about yourself. I'm Ju- did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those... Maybe later. Good luck catching the murder. Detective, did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those... Did you have any thoughts about the... If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. Hello, connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest work. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. 
She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your... Tiger, here for more stories about my acting career or something else. Tell me something. Sure, darling. What did you need? What were you and Keith talking about when I came in? Oh, that? We were rehearsing. Gotta stay sharp if we're going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Did you need something else? I'd rather die than be stuck in one of these rattles. All systems nominal. Protect and serve. Maybe we could clean up around Diamond City. Excellent. A baseball bat? <laughs> what is this doing here? Red paint? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. You have to see my latest work. I found red paint at the crime scene. You know anything about that? No, actually. Ezra borrowed my last gun, and now I can't find it. Never mind. Tiger, here for more stories about my acting career or something else. Can you answer some questions? Sure, darling. What did you need? Never mind. Oh, Language. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of the... Uh-huh. I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Maybe you could give me a reason it couldn't be you. I'm sick all the time, detective. I don't have the strength to do such a... Sure. Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. 
life had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. If I'm gonna let you go, I want a cut of what you've stolen. Oh, so it's like that, eh? Fine. I'll grease your palm a bit, detective. Now, am I free to go? Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich or die? Defending some outdated ideals. Okay, I'll let you go. Well, I'm glad you've decided to be reasonable. All right, detective. Tell Maxwell that it's over and get your reward. Then I'll make my way out when things have died. Uh-huh. I hope I do not malfunction at a critical moment. Protect and serve. Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? I found Ezra. He killed Juliana, and he's been impersonating her. Oh, my. I'll notify the staff, and we can put an end to this once and for all. Hostile you target must be bloody stupid if you can't hide from me. services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. We can always sell what we can't use ourselves. Sir? Hey, make it quick, will you? I'm listening. Your thoughts? How'd anyone stay sane living in a place like this? Oh, nothing. Whatever you say. I hope my circuits hold up today. Detective. 